Silent Hill 2 is rated M by the ESRB. Pure discretion is advised. Greetings there, everybody. Party J here once again, and I like pretty much everything in this series, I take a drink before anything. Now, one day I will probably take a drink before my intro, but hey, nevertheless. So, welcome you back to the strange and wonderful world of Silent Hill. So, last time we... What did we do last time? We explored the foggy streets of Silent Hill in the western part of South Vale. Checking out some items, all sorts of stuff. Heading along towards our merry way to the Lakeville Hotel, our ultimate goal. Only to find out that the bridge is out. So, we're screwed. Found herself going backtracking, admiring the the great billboard signs along the way there and back along Nathan Avenue. And uh, hit up the Bowler Emma where we met up with Eddie and the Brat, which we learned her name was Laura. And uh, apparently she ran out where need to go after we she ran past this building. We had to go through this building. Maria had the keys to this building, which turned out to be Heaven's Night, a strip club. I have various questions for Maria, but unfortunately right now we have to get Laura back. She went into Brookhaven Hospital, the mental hospital, and here we are. We just uh, read a few files with um, lovely chaps that are that uh, could use a bit of help, but nevertheless, we're going here, and uh, we got ourselves here. Maria's over there brooding in the corner. And uh, yeah, so we are on the first floor of the hospital. So this is the giant circle, kind of. Uh, we can go down towards the kitchen and dry room, and we can go over to the the left. You get into the restroom and the, I guess, the patient wing of C-section, I guess. Uh, the examining room, bathroom, uh, the, the bath one, and the garden. I always kind of wondered what hospital's garden would be like. I'm not too sure what that would be. And then the pool and the shower room. We'll see what I have. It's a, it's a big map. So let's start checking doors because I'm pretty sure a good 80% of them are going to be broken. Let's check it out. It is broken. Oh, it's like I'm psychic or something. Oh, I know why. It's Silent Hill, where everything is either broken or locked. There you go. That's what it is. Okay, broken again. That's locked. So we potentially could find a way in. It is not a broken. More broken. <laughs> More broken. Uh, we can't get over there or there. What is that? A big table? What is that? Maria, out of the way. I can't see what that is. Get over here. I want to see what that is. Is that a bench? No, it's just... Oh, it's a seat. I think it's a... It's a It's a seat without... It looks cumbersome anyway. Anyway, can we can't get in here? No, we can't get in here. So we can't go into the kitchen. We can't go into the day room. That's limiting our options pretty, pretty much down there. So let's continue on. Oh, door broken elevator doesn't move so broken I guess broken that's locked apparently Dark Vader has uh, has followed us from the apartment buildings and we can't we ju just can't open that it's not broken or anything we just can't open it Interesting. And uh, here. Ooh, we can go in here. Why, well, hello there, Maria. Apparently to be a stairwell. We've got a couple more rooms to go in the first floor, so let's check the first room, the first floor first. 
Yeah, it's one of these benches. It's probably one of these benches that were over there. That's 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 what I was trying to go with the bench. Nevertheless, it seemed very cumbersome. That's locked. And let's see where this is. We've got the examination room and the doctor lounge, and they connect to each other. That probably means that we're going to get into one of those rooms and then go into the other room from there and unlock the other way. Probably. We'll see. Anyway, the visiting room is closed. That other's broken again. And another broken door. Okay, cool. So we got a, not a lot of ways to go. We can only go up the stairs. So let's go up the stairs. Now we can go down. Excuse me, Maria. Or we don't go down. We go up. We're going up, I guess. And we can go up more, but this is the second floor, so let's check out the second floor the map. First of all, we've got a day room, we've got a patient wing, M1 to M6. Examiner research in three. I can't say that word. Examination room three. Don't know. Bath two. Oh, we got ourselves a roof in this place, and we also got a floor three on the same map. Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's go out here. Oh, hello. We got ourselves nurses. Pokey poke. Poke, poke, poke. Uh, I think I will take care of you first. And then hit you and hopefully stab you a few times. And have you go down. But look at that ass, man. Holy cow. Like, this is where... Are the enemies not dead? The music's still ramping up what is it what is that elevator doesn't work oh it's a mannequin hey what's going on get over here poke poke take more than two hits all right uh while i'm over here that's broken how about over here that is broken, so no day room for it. Sorry, Maria. All right, and let's go broken. But I just want to point out, this is the Silent Hill. Everyone thinks of nurses in Silent Hill. They think of, like, these type of nurses. The sexy, seductive nurses. Uh, it, it is clearly these ones that are influenced because it's, it was in the movies, first of all, and two, a lot of the later ones have nurses like this, like Homecoming has nurses like this, and also I think Downpour also, I'm not too sure, I haven't played Downpour too much, but most likely when you think of nurses in Silent Hill, you think of like these sexy nurses, which makes no sense because the thing is that these sexy nurses have a reason why they look like this, and we'll get into that post game but nevertheless there's a reason why they look like this and it makes no sense in the other games or little sense so that's the thing. i just want to point that out anyway let's uh go down here got ourselves a lemon closet nurse station oh i don't know if i want to go in there uh men's locker room and the women's locker room. so let's the nurse station seems to be we can't open it so that might be a good thing can't go into the linen closet. Got herself the men's locker room. So I think, Maria, you might need to, like, book your way out of here. Don't give me that. Don't give me that sass. You need to get out of here. This is the men's locker room. Unless you're into that type of stuff, which, you know, from the look of her, she might be. So, we've got a magazine here. Won't be doing any good right now. We go check any of these lockers. Lockers won't open. Lockers won't open. We got something there. Now the thing is, you can't really tell because James is looking at Maria all the time. Is that there's this lab coat here, bloody lab coat, and you can actually look at it. There's something inside the pocket of the white lab jacket. Fine, Silent Hill. It's a jacket, not a coat. And we got ourselves the examiner, examine 
examination room key. I can't say that word for some reason back to back. The examination, I can say that and I can say room, but I can't say them back to back together for some reason. Odd. Anyway, let's check out that key. Where is the key? So here we go. We got the examination room key. And I'm gonna not gonna say it again because it there is written on the tag. It's found in the pocket of the white lab jacket, not coat, in the men's locker room. And we can't check it out. It has seems to have blood on it. Well, it did come from a bloody white coat, so who knows? Anyway. Maria, can you not stand right there with dead blue eyes looking at me every time i look over that way i'm like i get like i get unnerving so i look over and i'm like i see her staring into my soul with those those blue eyes and I'm like <sighs> anyway women's locker room so i should probably get out but the uh, locker won't open james seems to be interested in this teddy bear so let's take a wonder Shall we? Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. Got yourself a bent needle. Well, that's interesting. Take a look at it. So we've got a, a bent needle. Rusty. It's also rusty. Rusty bent needle stuck in the stuffed animal in the locker room. Can't really use it. Can't combine it with something, but what do we use it for? Well, like all games that have puzzles, we'll find out later. It's just a normal stuffed animal and nothing else. James, you're looking at something else. What are, what are, what are you looking at? Anyway, Maria, bag here with nothing inside. Locker won't open. Excuse me, Maria. Something important in the locker right here. Got herself a boomstick. <laughs> There's a shotgun in the locker. Got herself a shotgun. Now, why a shotgun is in the locker of the hospital, you know, questions need to be asked, but I'm not going to because I got myself a shotgun. And, you know, you don't question yourself about that, especially in a game like this. So we got ourselves a shotgun, a, max, a maximum capacity of six shots, tough to use, but can attack opponents in a group. So that is the key thing is that one, it has a spread. Like that's usually what shotguns usually do is they spread. So they have a good thing for groups of enemies. So if there's a lot of group of enemies, you can use a shotgun, you take them out. Boom. Bam. Bam. So closer you are, the more that spread will hit that enemy and will take more damage. That's pretty much what it is. So yeah, we have a maximum of six, six shots they can go with. Uh, not good for long range. Just want to point that out. So if there's something close up, might want to get the shotgun out. If you something see a range, might want to stick to the hand good. Or just whack it with your pole for a little bit or something like that. Anyway. So we got ourselves a shotgun. Oh, stick. Excuse me, Maria. Actually, I don't know what James is looking at. Oh, God, Maria, can you stop that? Is that Anakin back? Got ourselves percussions. Mannequin, you're back. Pokey poke. Poke. Stomp. All right. I'm surprised that guy actually came back. Okay, what, what are you looking at, James? Are you looking at anything, or are you just looking at Maria? I think you're just looking at Maria. Which, that's why I don't like Maria, because Maria, you know, screws up the James hit you know, item detection thing. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's continue down here. Okay, so we're down in the second floor patient wing. 
Uh, looks like the lock is broken. Can't go with it. Got handgun bullets there. Something's going on here. Oh, we can go in here. Let's see if we can go in here. We got a health kit. First aid kit game. Bookcase. Nothing interesting. How do you know there's nothing interesting there, James? There's lots of books there. You want to glance at them? Nothing there. Okay. That's an interesting design. That's interesting design. Anyway, let's uh, let's go into typewriter. Scatter papers. Typewriter. Uh, there's a typewriter here. I guess no use for this. Wait, what's this? There's a sheet of card and paper still stuck in the typewriter. I can still read it, uh, the imprint left on it. I know it. I know the numbers of the box. 2778. It can't help him anymore, the button, but he. Doesn't scare me, so no one can stop who I am. Don't know who I am. Is who I am. Is who I am. Is. Okay. So we got a code, and what's it for? Well, I guess we'll find that out. Anyway, we can return to it if we go to our memos and go down to the imprint of the prod carbon paper. That is what it is. So we can always go back to see what that code is. Because trust me, we're going to need that later on, just a little bit. All right. Excuse me, Maria. Go back out. Let's go to M1. Can't go to M1. Can we go in here? Nope. M2. Go to M2. Maria? Maria, where are you? How'd you get in the room before me? Uh, anyway, what's this? Looks like a key. Got a lapis eye key. Some shotgun shells. Okay, so we got finally got some ammo for our our shotgun. We got six pro shotguns. You know, when I think of shotguns, I think of pro. You know. Just like, you know, when I think of handguns, I think of penguins, so who knows? I don't know. Anyway, I really don't like that flashing, so I'm going to top myself up. And again, we got ourselves the lapis eye key. So the uh, the eye is carved at top of the key. The iris part is made of lap, uh, lapis loop. loop. What is it? Lupus eye? I think it's lupus eye or something like that. Anyway, we can't examine it. That is pretty, pretty, pretty stuff. It looks kind of promising and it's like an eye. Got dirty also. So we got ourselves two keys, one code. I think we're gonna be needing those for something. So and we got our bent needle. Alright, let's go. We gotta probably do some fighting. Yep, nurses along the way. Let's go. Bam, ma'am, in the can, or something like that. More nurses. In the, in the leg, in the leg, or stomach, or something. Is that it? Yep, it just ambient music. All right, where did I leave off? I left off at three, so I'm free. M3. Oh, we can go in M3. We've got ourselves a nurse. One, two, three. Down you go. Give you a stomp. They're just messed up like that, I have to say. That's all. Got a handgun bullets and health drink. Well, at least there's natural light in here. Or, not natural light. At least there's, you know, um, like actual atmosphere light lighting in here. It's just my flashlight, so. Nope, something came. Ray, stop doing that, please. Not out here. Nope, another nurse. 
Was it, did I just take care of you? Or are you another nurse? Maybe? Alright. Stay down, please. Uh, four. Did I just go in four? No, I did not go in four. Can't go in four. Uh, five? Can't go in five. Six. Go in six. Ooh, we got ourselves a nurse. Ouch. One, two, three, four. You're going down, shaking. Give you a stomp. Oh, I'll drink. I'll drink there. You looked a little bit more dirtier. Yeah. And shotgun shots. Alright, so how am I doing on health? Eh, good. Need to be good for now. God damn, Maria. You stop doing that, please. Can I drop you off somewhere? Uh, there's a cover over the elevator hall, but it's locked and I can't open it. So we can go in here. We just got to find a way to open it. So, okay, the elevator seems to be working. Let's let's check our maps. Yeah, we have a little, like, little mark. So that's how you can tell, like, if there's a little, like, mark over there, it means locked. And if it's a scriddle over the door, it means that it broke. And obviously arrows means that you can go through. And it's broken. Alright, check that. Alright, check that. Okay, so floor two is done. Maria, are you there? Yes, you are. I didn't bother looking over there because I didn't want her to freak the hell out of me. Now, we can go up to the roof, so I'm going to see about going up to the roof quickly. Or not, being that it's locked. All right, locked room. Going to... Goddamn, Maria. Where are they coming from? Better one not better not be behind me. One, two, three, you're down. About average. The shaky, shaky nurses. Now I believe that they're actually called bubble head nurses, actually. Or bobblehead. I think I think it's bobblehead, but I think it might be bog bogglehead also. One of those. We got a health kit over there. I just saw it and I was like, going for it. Elevator still doesn't work. That's broken, and my god, that is a whole lot of whack of stuff. Going towards the day room, which we can't get to, so that is no way to get over there. Let's move over here. Storeroom is closed. Yeah, storeroom is special treatment. Let's see if we can go in there. It is locked. Okay, we might find a key to that later on. Let us go not in here because what is the code? We do not know. All right, so let's see if we can find what's going on here. Oh yeah, we got the examination room key. There was an examination room on the first floor that was locked. Wasn't it? Was it the first floor? I think it was the first floor. Let's go down. Maria, let's go down to the first floor. I want to build up your, your calves there, or glutes, or what? Um, glutes, it's glutes, you know, you know, something like that. I don't know, whatever Stairmaster helps out. Uh, is it here? Yes, it is. The examination room. Here. And bingo. Let's go inside. Got some eerie music. Bookshelf. Uh, the shelf glass is open. What's this file? Lab result for a personality and, uh, disorder test. Lab results. I don't want to read this. Nothing useful here. Uh, medical reference on the litter, nothing particular interesting. There is a bed. Nothing there. There's Maria. Maria, can you just... I, want to, uh, I don't know if I can actually check. 
Oh, that's broken. Is she gonna be like in a different note here? I want you to move because I want to read the things behind you. Anyway. Ooh, what's this? The shotgun shells in the sink. Because, you know, perfect, perfect thing for them to be in the sink. Now, what's this? We got a, ooh, third floor patient wing hall. We got a code 773 there. So let's write that down. 7335, third floor. There we are. Okay, cool. Want to make sure that don't. Of course, I could just go to memos, but, you know, I got my own little memo pad, so, sure. Don't want to be read there. Nothing in the sink. Got a memo head taken from the refrigerator. Food only. Don't store drugs in it. Very important. Can I go in there? Locker seems to be broken. And we're outside the other side. Okay. So we've got a code for the third floor, so... Let's head up to the third floor again. Oh my goodness. Lots of a busy work around here. Up to the third floor. Patient wings. So I'm assuming that's the locked door with the... Apparently the nurses can't get enough. Pokey, poke, poke. Kick it. All right. This is the thing. I think this is the number thing. Okay, so what was that number? Seven, three, three, five. All right, cool. And again, if you didn't write it down like I usually do, you can always go to your memo pad. And I guess it's the numbers written on the whiteboard. Yeah, there we go. Third world. So you can go back there and do that. So it's. Am I? Was I almost dead? I don't know. I didn't think I took that much damage. Goddamn, Marie, can you stop doing that, please? Broken. 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 So S1, no. S2. So this is the S4. It is the S4. S3. James. <coughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> I'm kind of tired. <laughs> it's just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <coughs> so comfy. You say so. I'm going to go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. If you say so, Maria. If you say so. That bed does not look comfy whatsoever. But uh, James is apparently looking at something. So what is this? A cell for roof key. Let's take a look at that. The roof key. A roo uh, key to the roof of the office building. We got it in the third floor hospital room where Maria is resting. Just in case you forget where Maria is. God forbid. Anyway, uh, we can't examine it, but it has. It, it's just like, it doesn't look like a key at all. But anyway, nevertheless. So Maria is going to be hanging out here on the comfy bed. If she thinks it's comfy... We're not sleeping on it. I'm fine with that. Anyway, we can't talk to her oh, again. James, I want to ask you something. What if... What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't thought about that. No, Maria, asking the... Asking the questions. My God, asking the questions. How if we can't find Mary? What would we do? Seems like James has only has one track mind to find Mary, and if we don't, no backup plan. So there you go. I think we should have something else to say. 
I'll be okay soon. <coughs> Did you find Laura? All right. And that's it. You can just it's just a cycle of over and over again. Anyway, Maria's here. You go check up on her, but me, I'm not going to. He's fine. Not going to. I gotta deal with nurses first, so let's deal with some nurses. That's rude. No, I think I'm gonna have to bust out my gun here. Are there any more? Oh, now you're giving me mannequins? Come on. Boom. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Alright. Is there more? Oh, there's more mannequins. Why is there mannequins in the hospital? Wouldn't there just be nurses in the hospital? Alright. Did I take a lot of damage? Yeah, I kind of did. Uh, let us heal? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just want to make sure my 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 uh, my health is pretty high. I don't want to take too much damage. Okay. So instead of coming out of the wall like we did in the apartment, it's going into a drain. The the weird green substance is going into the drain. James, you gonna stick your hand down that drain this time, maybe? There's something stuck in the drainage pipe. Oh my god, he is literally going to stick his hand in the drainage pipe. The hole's too small and I can't get my hand inside to reach it. Well, thankfully that, that is there, because I don't want you to be putting your hand down a drain, drainage pipe that looks like it has a goddamn ear in it. Look at that. Look at, look at that. That looks like an ear. May have had a long, narrow pool of some kind. Well, let's see what we have. Do we have anything long? What we have is wooden plank. That might be a little too big, though. We have a wooden steel pipe. Well, it's a pipe, so I don't think it's going to fit in another pipe. Uh, and anything? We don't... Knife is out there. Got the roof key, but I doubt it's long. And we have another key that's there. We have a bent needle, but that's... It's too short. And I think if we actually use it right mean, there, it's not long enough, so we might need something to put on that needle. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to come back later on. Uh, you got anything to indicate? Nope. Where's your artistic scale, James? Man, you gotta put, you gotta put like a little question mark or something there. Come on. Anyway. Green substance going down a drain. I'm not going to question. I'm not going to question it at all. Oh god, now Maria is not going to freak the hell out of me every time I come out of her room. Alright, we're going to go uh, back over to four. That's locked. Five. That's locked. And remember, if you want to adjust the camera, you hold the L trigger. And it controls the camera. You can control it this way, control it that way, up, down, all sorts of that. You gotta hold it down unless you have it on toggable, and then you just press it. But you know, options, throw it there, play around with settings, definitely do that. Can't go in that room. Can't go in seven, eight, nope, nine. Got his mannequin back here. Didn't I kill you? Didn't I step on you? Boom. Bam. Come on, get over here. Alright. And step, steppy, step. Alright, so what, which one did we can go into? We can go into 10 because there's mattresses on there. Uh, 11? Oh, we can go in 11. Got ourselves a health drink, a bed, and a save point. Do I want to save? I'm going to hold off on that just for a minute. But we're definitely going to come back. Or we're probably calling it an episode pretty soon also. Uh, 12? No. Wait a minute. What? 12? 18. 
that clearly says 18. That's 18. That says 18 right there. No question about it. But that's 13. Questions? Anyway. 14. Well, that looks questionable. There's something on the wall. Something written on the wall. Well, I just said that. Louise, I'll take you, I'll take care of you forever. It is my destiny. All right, so four is spelled wrong. But other than that, what does it mean? Well, let's take a look at this thing on the amalgamation of wires on the wall, on the, on the bed. All right, so yeah, we have a turning combination. We have a button combination. Looks like a chain with a lock. And then maybe this could be another lock. So four locks on a thing. Got ourselves a key, another key. And we got a code. So we have three things maybe for this. That's the roof key. Uh, we, I guess we can try to jimmy one of the locks open with the, with the hook, but... Uh, okay, so I could probably use three of these things now, but we need four. So I'm going to hold off right now. I'm going to use all four of them together. But uh, we need to come back to that definitely. And James, why don't you draw something to indicate like a box, like a box maybe, or a question mark box? All right, let's. What do we got here? I'm gonna try the elevator, but it's probably gonna be the same, same. Yeah, cover over the color button. It's locked. I can't get it open. That is broken. Did I try this door? No, I didn't. I did. That's the shower. Okay, so we do have the roof key. So let's try the roof. Let's see if we can maybe get something going here. Roof key. Where's the fog? It was foggy at last time we were here. Why is it nighttime? Okay, well, I'm glad that the hospital has safety because, you know, you don't want people jumping off the, the roof. Uh, we got a memo, we got a book there, but I don't want to read the book just right now. We'll, we'll leave it for another playthrough. Don't want to, I don't want to read that book. Uh, what do we have up here? We have the control room. I could open the switch of that elevator, maybe. Well, we'll give that a go. Oh, it's broken. What's this? Oh my goodness! Oh my god, it seems like Pyramid Head. Might be a little pissed with uh, John, like, always interrupting him with something. Might be slightly pissed about that. Curious. Oh my goodness. So where the hell are we now? Oh, we're in the special treatment room. We're on the other side of the door. Sweet. Okay, cool. Okay, don't go out that door. Don't go move at all. Because if uh, you have vibration on, you should probably be feeling your vibration, your your controller vibrating. That's not even on the PS2 version. Because that fall will send you down to critical health. All the time. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're full. Doesn't matter if you are actually practically dying. It will send you down to critical health all the time. So don't be healing up too much throughout the place if you're going to the roof. So I just want to point that out. So let's go there and uh, there. So yeah, because uh, on the regular PC version, that is not the enhanced edition, or actually it is the enhanced edition, but I turned it off. You might see a little cross on the other side, where is it? On the other side, you might see a little cross, like fading in and out. And that indicates that uh, you are very low in health. Anyway, we are on the other side of the special treatment room. Let's take a look here. 
That is a broken door. Uh, there's a note on this door. There's something written on the wall. Just so it looks dumb, may be taken out of a cell. And it's obviously not there. Uh, I do have to say the track marks lead to this room. Hopefully there's nothing in this room. Oh god. It is the white padded room. There's a bloody mess over here, so let's see what this is. There's something written on the wall. Oh god, do I want to know? Ooh, okay. That looks like another code, so that's good. We have ten, ten, ten numbers. Better, better not forget them, so I'll... So I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. I don't know, name. So we have a number, and we have turn, turn, turn the numbers. We have a lock that has the numbers turn. Could that actually be hint of what combination is there? Maybe. Anyway, it's, uh, we'll go there. Looks like a 9494. Four. So, yeah, cool. Okay, again, also, if you forget this, you can go to your memos. And then here we have turn, turn, turn the numbers. And there it is right there. So, again. All right, let's get out of this crazy place. Can we go in here? No, we cannot. Okay, so we have everything we need for the box. And, uh... I don't know if I really want to solve the box because, you know, I was going to make a Hellraiser reference where it's like, you solved the box. We came. And uh, I don't really want them to come, if if anything. So let's uh, let's maybe not solve the box, but we're going to have to solve the box anyway. And the only thing I can probably think that is in the box is the elevator key that we need. Because that's the only thing that we need further or we have a long object that goes on top of that we can get the key or the the key or whatever i'm assuming it the key is either in the box or down the drain and we're going to get one or the other so let's uh, let's uh, tempt this box here okay so we have the two keys so let's, uh, you can use them separately, or we can actually combine them. Combine the two keys and use them. So we slide that purple bull, bull key into, I guess, the slot. We use the lapis eye key on the chain, chain lock. That gets rid of all the wires and all that. Which also is reflected out there, because there's no more wires on there anymore. And uh, seeing that we're here, we're going to look, take a review of those memos. Turn, turn, turn the numbers, which is the turning one, which is 9494. So we'll go there, 9494. Up there, so the turning one, because we turn it. So 9494 gets rid of that one. And now we need the button pressing one. There was a imprinted on the carbon paper. It did mention a code and also button keys. So the one code for this is 2778. 2278, and it mentions buttons. So let us go here. So 2778, and open that box. String? There's nothing inside the box. No, I'm wrong. There's a few types of hair. Oh, sorry, Silent Hill. It looked like string to me, so it's hair. And we got self a piece of hair. There's nothing inside the box anymore. Okay, we got ourselves a hair. Long brown hair. It was in that box. So... Looks like we're going, might need to go fish that, that, that ear thing, which I'm assuming is a key outside that drain with a makeshift fishing hook with line. Looks like that. 
Where was that? Oh, luckily it was just down the hall. Oh, cool. All right, let's just go down the hall to the shower room. Fish that, I'm assuming, a key, because, you know, don't know where else to go if we were there. So, again, we can combine the hair and the hook and make self a makeshift fishing line type of thing. We're going fishing down a drain. Fishing that ear out. Which, uh... Yeah, it's a key. Hopefully it's the right type of key. It's the elevator. Oh, it is the elevator key. And of course it has an ear on it. Okay, that's why I see I saw the ear. I'm like, what the hell is the ear? Okay, so it's the elevator key. Patient wing elevator is written on the tag. What tag? The ear? It was stuck in the ba the bath pipe. Okay, actually, you know what? Something? I actually want to take a look at that Mary picture again. Because the hair might have actually come from her, because she has brown hair. Because Maria has blonde hair. She has, like, blonde hair with, like, color tips. Mary, on the other hand, has brown hair. Huh. Let's see that letter again. And where's the streams? Yep, yep, still there. There he is, actually. Hmm. It might be in her hair, because it's, it's about length of it. All right, let's go take a look at that elevator. Uh, actually, I might... Where, where is that safe point? I'm actually going to use that safe. Where is that safe? Is it on the second floor? Or is it? No, it's on here, isn't it? It's 11. Yeah, we're going to take it. We're going to call it. We're going to call it this one. 11. There we go. Ah, uh, here we go. Save point. And we are going to save. Let's see where we are going to save. Okay, so we're going to call it there. Because holy cow, we've been through a lot and I don't want to go over 50. Like if it goes over an hour, um, that's too long. I want to keep it around the 40, 30, 40 mark. Uh, possibly 50 around there. Anyway. Uh, we are knee deep in the hospital. We've covered everything. Except for the first floor, which I assume we're going to do that with the elevator, because we're in the western part of the uh, hospital, and we haven't explored the first floor of that, so I'm assuming we're going to go down there and then hopefully find Laura, I guess. So we'll do that in the next one. So until next time, everyone, take care of yourself. Really take care of yourselves. We're in a mental hospital. So I need to say that. It's like, come on. Take care of yourself, okay? You having a bad day? Have a bad day. Yeah, have that bad day. But know that that is just the day. That's all. You know, not every day is going to be like that. Anyway. Take care of yourselves out there. Because it's a wild, wild world. And the world ain't going to... Take care of you. You need to take care of yourself. So take care of yourself. If you have a uh, partner or say for the other or someone that you really care about, you know, that really cares about you, you know, say it, say something. Say, say that you appreciate, appreciate it. Definitely. will definitely come in handy. Anyway, until next time, everyone, take care of yourself. I'll see you next time.